Sam Redford has candidly spoken about his first experiences with bullying as a child as he had a really weird voice. The former Coronation Street actor, 24, was born in Gosford, New South Wales, Australia but his family made the decision to up sticks and relocate to England. Shortly after arriving in the North, he and his family lived in Crewe, Cheshire, where he also attended school. Despite settling into life in England, Sam admits he rapidly lost his accent in order to stay under the radar due to standing out against his schoolmates. In recent years, Sam has been working alongside the Diana Award and their hashtag Back to Bullying campaign in the memory of the late Diana, Princess of Wales to back anti-bullying campaigns. Recalling his own experiences, he told the Mirror, I came over from Australia and moved to a really tiny town in Cheshire, I don't think they'd heard anyone speak Australian before, I had a really weird voice as a kid. I remember some of my first instances of bullying, I very quickly lost my Australian accent because I thought I better stay under the radar a bit more if I want to avoid that. So I lost the accent pretty quickly but then when I grew older, it sort of meant a lot to me that I was working somewhere where I wasn't from, it meant a lot. The actor, who also appeared in SAM, admits he feels lucky has been able to take on several roles which have tackled issues including poverty, abuse and coming to terms with the character's sexuality. Discussing taking on the role of Curtis Delamere on ITV's Corey, Sam said that while walking down the street, people would often mistake him for their postman due to them recognizing his face but not knowing where from. He said, people watch that show religiously and it means so much to so many generations, it was a real privilege to be a part of something that people used to meditate and chill out to, and switch off. In Channel 4's Ackley Bridge, Sam's character Corey completely switched the stereotypes some would have of the popular and good-looking lad at school. On the surface, it seemed as though he had it all, his life was far from perfect as he was secretly living in poverty, was abused by his dad and was struggling with his sexuality. Corey also found himself being abused by his teacher, Son, as they embarked on a sexual relationship. But his character started to fall in love with Naveed Hyder, who was also coming to terms with being gay. The pair, who were best friends, eventually struck up a romantic relationship without their peers knowing but things came crashing down when Corey slept with a woman behind Naveed's back. Speaking about the character, he explained, I really did fall in love with that character a lot because he was so human and, on the surface, could have been so two-dimensional. Through years of sitting with him, you gain the empathy for learning what goes on behind the scenes. Corey's actions on the show at times were questionable but Sam urged people to realize that while nobody should resort to bullying, the bully may be experiencing hidden pain that nobody is aware of. Even the easy stuff, will relate to someone who's watching, he said before adding, you don't know how much that one hour of television when they get back from work means to that person. Research by the Diana Award states that 33% of children want to cry at the thought of returning to school, while half of parents dread seeing their little ones heading back to school due to mental or physical abuse. Sam said, it's very easy in life nowadays especially over the past few years to feel very isolated and feel like we're on. We're on our own and in these battles in these socially challenging times. So to have something like the Diana Award, anti-bullying pro, to have that as a young person is an incredible piece of material and a really comforting voice to have. Speaking last week, on the 26th anniversary of the late Diana, Princess of Wallace death, Sam said it was hugely important to continue her legacy.
He said, it's a beautiful thing that, that legacy is carried forward. Yes it's pioneered by a load of adults but the people who are holding and burning the integrity are the young people, they're at the heart of this charity which is what is so beautiful about it. Show your support for children as they face hashtag back to bullying this year and for more information, anti-bullying resources and to donate, visit www. Back to bullying.com follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.